Sometimes everything seems to be against your carpet. A careless hand. Popcorn. Modern dance. children. <laughs> Even the weather. Mom, we're home. It was a beautiful carpet, wasn't it? Now these problems can be avoided if you don't live on your carpet. But learn how to remove dirt and stains properly, and you'll find that this will prolong the life of your carpet. Keep it fresh and new looking for years, and greatly add to your enjoyment in owning it. The first thing to remember is to clean up bad spills immediately before they have a chance to penetrate the fibers. Take milk or soft drink on that new carpet made with Acrolan. Just blot up the excess liquid with clean white absorbent material such as towels or a sponge. Apply a bit of mild detergent to the stain. Soak up the excess again. Then lay a quarter inch or a half inch of tissue or toweling over the top of the stain and place a heavy weight, such as a book, on top of that. Leave the weight on for six to eight hours. In the case of some stubborn stains, it may be necessary to apply the detergent more than once. Muddy footprints are no problem either. If the mud has been allowed to dry, it can be broken up with a kitchen spoon and then vacuumed. And remember, with these or any other stains, always start removing the stain from the outside and work toward the middle. This will keep the stain from spreading. of carpeting you have or how often you clean it, you should call a professional rug and carpet cleaner at least once a year to do a thorough job. Any greasy stain can be handled by blotting up excess, applying a little dry cleaning solvent, then using a little detergent. Blot up the excess again and apply weight as mentioned before. You can remove those annoying crush marks by brushing the piled fibers up toward their original position. Then hold a steam iron close to the carpet and allow the steam to penetrate the fibers. Don't apply the iron directly to the carpet. But how about those happy days when none of these drastic mishaps occur? Well, your carpeting should still receive a daily vacuuming. This will remove loose particles of dirt that settle down into the carpet. Even the smallest of these particles will grind into the fibers of the carpeting during normal use. The abrasive action of the dirt particles against the fibers will shorten the life of your carpet. But a vacuum will help remove much of this danger. And one point that is often missed by today's housewife is that the good old-fashioned upright cleaning machine offers an important advantage over other types. Brushes loosen dirt particles and bring them to the top of the pile. And the revolving brushes return the pile fibers to their original position, which will also help prolong the life of your carpet. 
Any type of carpet can be cleaned, and by taking immediate and proper action, the damage caused by the worst stains can be minimized. However, there are certain points to remember. Be careful about using too much dry cleaning solvent or detergent. Too much of the solvent can cause the latex back of a carpet to swell, while too much detergent may cause shrinkage in one area and ripples or puckers in another. It's always a good idea to test your carpet first. In most cases, strong bleaches will damage the colors in carpeting, and spot removal chemicals may destroy certain fibers. Pick a spot on your carpet that doesn't show in a corner or behind a drape. Apply a small amount of the stain remover you plan to use. Then press a white tissue against the carpet while you count to 10. And examine the tissue to see if any of the color has come off. If it has, choose a different stain remover. Have time to sit down and relax with some friends for coffee during the afternoon. It's fine to have the girls in, but how much fun is it if this happens to your new light blue Cumuloft nylon carpet? There's no reason to worry if you know what to do. Blot up the excess. Work a little mild detergent into the stain. Blot up the excess again. If the stain is stubborn, use one third cup of white vinegar to two thirds cup of water in place of the detergent and let it work its way into the stain for about two minutes. After blotting up the excess, apply tissues and wait. By getting this stain out immediately, you'll prevent it from becoming a permanent embarrassment to your friend. You know, puppies are nice to have around the house for the children, but little puppies sometimes cause problems. Just go after the stains immediately. Many women have a habit of doing their nails in the bedroom, and an accident like this could be a nightmare, unless you know what to do. After testing, Apply nail polish remover to a small spot of the stain to see if it will work on that particular type of polish. If not, banana oil, sold in most drugstores, will probably do the trick. As with other stains, blot and apply weight. Suppose your husband decides to do a little quick redecorating while you're out doing Saturday morning shopping. Everything is going fine, and then... Spilled paint is enough to give anybody gray hair, but most paints can be removed. The cleaning steps for paint are, spoon up as much of the excess as possible. Wash out the stain with a little mild detergent if you have spilled a latex-based paint. Or if it is an oil-based paint, use paint thinner. Blot, apply weight. It may be necessary to use more than one application of the detergent or spot remover. And if you're in doubt, call your local professional rug cleaner. Most of them will be happy to advise you on emergency spot cleaning. The professional cleaner can remove difficult stains if caught in time. He has the knowledge and the equipment. Professional cleaners have efficient equipment that will get out the most elusive dirt. A pile brush lifts flattened or crushed pile and loosens dirt. And a powerful commercial vacuum removes more dirt and grime than can be accomplished with a home-type cleaner. The gentle rotary action of the scrubber and a mild detergent remove the last traces of grime in the carpeting, restoring it to its original appearance. Another type of professional cleaning machine uses an absorbent dry cleaning compound. Brushes reach deep into the pile to remove hidden dirt and bring it to the surface where it can be vacuumed away. Or your professional cleaner may recommend that your rugs or carpeting be removed for implant cleaning. Professional cleaners inspect all carpeting and rugs to determine whether the rugs need special attention and to check for stains or serious damage. If the rug or carpet is damaged and in need of repair, the professional cleaner will notify the customer before starting the cleaning operation. Rugs are first run through dusters that loosen and remove dirt embedded in the face pile and backing. Modern equipment in today's rug cleaning plants makes short work of dirt and grime. 
Rugs are gently cleaned with special detergents at controlled temperatures. Rinsing removes the last traces of detergent and dirt. The rug is removed from the automatic washer and placed on a pole where it is hung in the dry room. Warm circulating air assures quick and even drying of the backing and fibers in the face of the rug. After rolling and wrapping, the rug is returned to the customer. Paint stain gone, mud and grime removed, the carpet looks new again. That's the key to beautiful, long-lasting carpets, in spite of the hazards of everyday living. Know what to do in case of spills or stains. Take immediate action to clean them up. Vacuum your carpet daily. And at least once a year, have it thoroughly cleaned by a professional.